All right, guys, there's a reason why I dueled this guy. So he goes, seriously, hold on. I, I, I need the guy to actually qu quit. Just read. Just read. It's not even meta! Uh, he said... <laughs> I gotta know what this guy's playing. I wanna know what this guy's playing. I've seen 50 today. Okay, 51 now. <laughs> Yes, and I won't play. Dude, this guy, okay. This guy, he hosted, and the reason why I wanted to make this video is because he hosted, I, I, screenshot, I had to screenshot it because it was so funny. Less Pom and Coffee, no meta, Ash Ritual, Link Spam, Burn, or Necro. I feel like I don't follow under that category. Quit then. No, I love Medulla Chase Max, but it's getting out of hand. Okay, well. I, the only reason why I wanted to duel this guy is I want to know what what are these players playing? All right, dude, he legitimately had in his thing um, less pop, common and popular decks. I mean, it's a pretty popular deck, or it's, and I would consider him a Dolce less popular. Although now, like you know, the first day of the new release, uh, but we don't have any Ash, we don't have anything meta, we don't have Link Spam. What is it? Is this guy just going to actually time out? I'll chill. What is wrong with some of these Yu-Gi-Oh players? Okay. The real question here, we'll, we'll let a time out. It's probably another like minute before he's just going to like waste someone else's time. Just because he, I guess, is upset about how the game is. Like, you know, there's lots of games where you, you'll join and the game will start and one card gets activated and your opponent quits. That's just how Yu-Gi-Oh hits these days. I mean, I myself, when someone opens up and they go Royal Magical Library and they reveal an Exodia piece. Sometimes I stay just to see if it's a new build, but if it's the older build, I'm not interested in seeing that, so I just dip out. I don't really feel like it's that much of a problem, but seriously, so many people in Yu-Gi-Oh are just, I don't know, I understand no pendulums, okay? I, I, I'm gonna get behind, I'm gonna support that guy, but what was he playing? That's the real question here, okay? Because I feel like there's so many of these. I bet you you can easily find... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you guys didn't see nothing. Alright guys, before I click on his deck, I want you to type right now in the comment section below, what deck do you think he was playing? Because remember guys, he had hosted the game, it said the less common, popular decks, no Ash, no Link Spam, no Burn, no Grand Maju Daiza. Like, who, who is afraid of Grand Maju Daiza? Like, that's so incredibly dumb. But right now, again, comment in the comment section below, what deck was he playing? I mean, a lot of people that do this, like, you can't play this, no, you can't play this, no quitting, they're playing Exodia. They're always playing something really dumb, right? There's something that, like... It's very difficult to pull off, so they're trying to pull off maybe something that's more hard to play. Keep in mind, this guy was a huge scumbag. He not only sat there and didn't even want to play, even though I would say my deck definitely followed the rules. Although, Modolce is, is popular right now because of the, the one new card that got released. But they would nowhere near be considered a meta deck uh, before this new card. But we might also get new support, I don't know. But, again, I want to know what you guys think he's playing. But we're going to reveal it right now. Dark World? Dark World? You say you can't play this, this, this. Dark World was me- Dark World- I, The Dolce's have never been considered like top tier. This- This was a championship deck. This deck actually did so well. Are you kidding me? This is like the biggest scumbag Yu-Gi-Oh player I think I've ever seen. Not only did he waste my time by not making a move. I wanted to stay in the game so I can get the replay footage to obviously show you guys what the heck he was playing. Alright, so, okay, he's actually got, like, he even has links. Okay. I mean, he said no link spam, technically, because, um, that was in the rules. And I, I don't link spam either, I can only really make one to start anyways. But the real question is, is he going to be playing Morphing Jar, Card Destruction, um, I mean, I can't, with Dangers, you don't really need to link summon. You're playing the Skill Drain. He even said in his thing, it said no stun. Skill Drain is 1000% stun related. This is like... 
like the biggest Yu-Gi-Oh hypocrite I think I've ever seen. First off, Dark World was meta at one point. I understand it's not meta, but that's that's really stupid. No stun, you're playing Skill Drain, okay? Uh, obviously Link Spam that he does follow this role. This was, was a really popular deck at one point. Modultras were never popular except for like this day because of the new stuff. But then also you're running Morphing Jar. Is he also playing card destruction or no? Because that also got changed on the ban list. So you like you refuse to use, I guess, like the newer stuff in a sense. But then you're also using the new ban list running really broken cards. Like Dark Rolls with Morphing Jar card destruction. Know this, know this, know this! And you waste someone's time. I understand though, okay, if a Yu-Gi-Oh player gets upset, like you know, your opponent is playing Exodia and you just you go, okay, GG, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave the game because you, you no one no one really wants to watch an Exodia player. But those people that put like, no this, no this, no this, no quitting, like you know that they're playing something stupid. But this guy's not even playing anything that like ridiculous, no rainbow dragon crystal beast or something. He's actually playing something that would be considered a lot more meta. Uh, at one point in the game. Again, I know that Dark Words aren't like the S tier deck right now, but at one point they were. But Dolce's never on that list. But, uh, anyways, I just wanted to upload that video. But I want to know what is your experience with these kinds of players, like these scumbag Yu Gi Oh players that say, know this, know this, know this. What are they playing? What are these kids playing that say, no, no like, you know how I'm sure a lot of you guys had no synchro, no XC, no this, no this, no this. But I've ran into players that that host those games, and they just don't want you to play it, but they want to play it too. That's that's even next level higher IQ plays, dude. Oh my gosh, dude, this video, so good. But I want to know your experience against some of these players. What deck were they playing to, and what was the scenario? Because, oh my gosh, dude, like, Dueling Network had the greatest stories. I guess directly now with Dueling Book. But back when Yu-Gi-Oh! was way more popular, when you had a lot of scrubs uh, that would just, like... And they'd be playing like the weirdest stuff and they would argue I like, dude it just reminds me basically of that all over again but anyways comment section let me know your experiences with these scumbag Yu-Gi-Oh players that like waste time what what deck are they playing I want to say definitely what what decks have the worst player base I would say Dark World you're looking pretty good right now, because we, we had, I don't remember what video it was, but I had another, like, scumbag Dark World player, but dang, dude, this one is definitely up there. <laughs> but anyways, ranted long enough. Let me know your story down below in the comment section below, but thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like on it for these more of these, like, stupid, funny Yu-Gi-Oh! commentary, like, style videos. I just wanted to make this. I got another rant that I want to do about Noble Knights, but that'll probably be later this week. Anyways, peace out, guys. Have a good one. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button to see more Questionable Yu-Gi-Oh! content, that's for sure, man. <laughs> Peace out. <laughs>